Okay, I'd like to bring the meeting to order. This is the Historic District Commission. The date is June 8th, 2023. <clears throat> um, this meeting was noticed. Um, the notice of this hearing was published on the Friday, May 26th edition of the Fairfield Citizen. Um, I'll take attendance starting with um, Darren Raymond Locke, Commissioner. I'm here. Thank you. Parker Banis, Commissioner. I'm here. Thank you. Rosina Negron, Commissioner. Here. Chris Shea, Commissioner. I don't see him. <clears throat> He's not here at the moment. Uh, Alternate Commissioner George Clark is absent. Alternate Commissioner Jim Bohan is not here. Alternate Commissioner Alyssa Stack is not here. Okay. Um, so we have no alternates tonight. Uh, first item on the agenda, I'm looking for. Henry Backey is here. Good. First item on the agenda, Tara and Henry Backey, 388 Old Post Road in Fairfield for property located at 388 Old Post Road in Fairfield to A, remove existing chain link fence. Hello? Can you hear me? Hi, Henry. Hi. Uh, yes. This is Henry Backey, 388 Old Post Road, Fairfield, Connecticut. Uh, we had an old chain link fence that's probably been there about 50 years. Uh, the owners next door at 383, I think it is, or 363, uh, put in a new fence. So now we have a superfluous fence and mine's rusted in half in the ground anyway from the years of gardening. And I just want to remove it. Okay. Can you show your application or uh, wow. would you like me to? You could you do it? Because I'm uh, I'm actually in between patients. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, My wife went know. to Europe. She she gave me this job. <laughs> Lucky her. Um, yeah, I know. Um, hang on a sec. Share from the screen. Okay, it's showing up. There it is. Yeah. Can everyone see this? Okay. Yeah, so you can see it's on the east property line. It goes about halfway back my property to basically the back of where the uh, neighbor's garage is. And then I have a um, picket fence that's uh, metal behind it. So this is the really only remaining part of the old chain link fence on the property. You can see during the summer, it's shielded by the privet, but it's really causing no purpose. Okay. Anything else, Henry? No, that's it. Okay, Darren, do you have any questions? No questions for me, thank you. Okay, Art, questions? Uh, none for me, Adam. Rosina, questions? No questions, thanks. And I do not have any questions either. Um, I did not receive any letters in favor of this application. And I did not receive any letters opposing this application. So the hearing is closed. Thanks, Henry. Great, thank you very much, guys. Appreciate your help and your volunteerism. Thanks. All right, next item on the agenda, Robert and Carrie Manning, 1130 Old Academy Road in Fairfield for property located at 1130 Old Academy Road in Fairfield to A, relocate basketball hoop, B, path lights and driveway courtyard and side door path, and C, path lights and pool area. Is there someone here representing? You're muted, Chris. Christina, you're muted. Oh, 
Okay, now? Yep, okay. Yes. I don't you know why every time I have such trouble with this. Um, okay, I'll start again. I'm Christina Gates. I'm the landscape architect representing Rob and Carrie Manning at 1130 uh, Old Academy Road. Um, as Adam stated, our application has three items. Um, I'm going to share my screen to show you the items. Okay. Um, uh, previously, we had gone before the commission um, for a pool and outdoor fireplace and pergola and all of the items um, on this site plan, but we did not include the lighting and I forgot about the basketball coop. So here we are, um, and I wanna show you some of those items. Um, okay. So item number one is relocate basketball hoop. Um, this is the survey, and the current basketball hoop was right here, right in the center of the driveway, and that's all coming out. So that's where we're taking it out. And you zoom out. Of course, they start mowing the lawn right now. Can you still hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, the new, okay, the new um, basketball hoop is just sliding over about 15 feet and will go on the edge of the driveway up against the arborvitae. Um, I tried to pull up the site photo to show you. This is kind of where it is. So it's right here in the middle right now. It's essentially just going straight back up against that arborvitae hedge. So that's the new proposed location um, for the basketball hoop. The second um, item is uh, R, the path lights in the driveway in the courtyard area. Um, we have proposed two path lights here at the front of the path that goes to the side door, which is their primary entrance, and then two path lights here um, next to the side door entrance. So that's item C, and these are the path lights, which we've used in the past. Um, the height is not going to exceed 16 inches, and it's pretty standard uh, path light. So that's the specification for that light. It's also the same light we are proposing on item number C, path lights in the pool area. Um, oh, actually, I'm sorry. These two lights over here by the barn are part of item number B, um, path lights in the driveway, courtyard, and path. So. There's one in front of the relocated pergola and then one at the bottom of the step because there's about two steps right here. Um, so just to light up that space because they don't have any light on the barn. Um, then uh, the pool area, I have those same lights at the base of the steps here at the entrances. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, there's no ambient light out here because the barn has no lights and it's pretty set away from the house. So that's why we have um, all of these lights. Plus there's trees back here to shield it. And then this is really the space where they're gonna spend their time um, at night. So that's why I have four lights on this backside. Um, and so that's, oops, sorry. That is my application. Um, and I would be happy to answer if anybody has any. Thanks, Christina. Uh, Darren, questions? None for me. Thank you so much for such a straightforward presentation. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, or uh, questions? No, Adam. Look, none for me. Looks good, Christina. <clears throat> Thank you. Thanks, Art. And Rosina, questions? Only one question. Um, do you consider putting the basketball hoop on the opposite side where the cars are parked by any chance? Um, do you mean uh, right here, Rosine, that, or again? Yeah. Um, in um, the first no, location that you showed. This part right here? Yes. Um, no, I didn't because aesthetically, we were thinking that this was going to be more of a formal courtyard that you pull into. And 
um, this evergreen hedge, it can kind of nest in it and kind of disappear. So I felt that over here, it would also do less damage to the trees because the evergreen, those arborvitae are pretty tough and it kind of hides it more. But that's why I chose the other side. But yes, we did try to figure out where on earth do we put this and do you really need it? And they did really want it. So I thought that would be the least um, kind of the best way to hide it from. And how visible you know, from the um, street will that hoop be then? It is visible from the street because um, this is the driveway. It's the main driveway. But it's really tucked into the arborvitae. Um, you know, and I feel like in a lot of the historic district places in Southport, the basketball hoops are visible from the right of way. Um, and I think it was visible before because it was right here on this circle. So if you wanted to look, you could potentially see it. Um, so okay. that's why I chose that location. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yep. Oh, and one last. Thanks, Regina. I don't I have did, any. Yeah, great. I didn't put barn because the barn is so fragile that they didn't want anything breaking. That's why it's not on barn. Okay. Um, I don't have any questions either, Christina. So, um, I did not receive any letters in favor of the application. I did not receive any letters opposing the application. So, um, the hearing's closed. Thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, next item on the agenda is um, I'm recusing myself. So, Rosina, if you don't mind, for 780 Harbor Road. Um, Hello. Um, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, hold on. Next item on the agenda is Jonathan and Daniel Siegel, 780 Harbor Road, Southport, Connecticut, 06890, <laughs> for a property located at 780 Harbor Road. Um, a driveway modifications. Is there anyone here to present? Yes, Larry Stabile, I represent the Siegels. Uh, okay. How are you all? Fine, um, you? Basically, I'm doing well. Um, can you, the Siegels, can you pull your application? Uh, yeah. Can you see that? Nope. Ah. All right. Uh, went through this before. May have to give me a little help. Sure. Ah. How do you add the, like, if I want to add the PDF, how do I bring if you it up click for you guys share, to see it? If you click share, you can put either search or um, your Microsoft Edge. You can select. I see it. I got it. That do it? Thank you. All right. Um, so basically, the seagulls are modifying their driveway, just redoing the, the gravel. And we've already have approval for um, this gate and this fence is going to be rebuilt. So, and they're doing landscape, re landscaping. So, what they're trying to do is create more of a formal, inviting entry to the front of the house because. Right now, it just goes straight past, and everybody just keeps driving past it and going into the back of the property. Um, and it becomes a mess back there with cars, and they just don't know where to go. So they end up parking back there, trying to walk up front. So what they're trying to do is just um, create a little sense of pull-off for a car, an Uber driver, um, a taxi, just to pull up and you know drop, pick off, uh, pick up and um, pull out to for this area. It's not a parking area. It's just a pull off. Okay. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Thank you. Um, Darren, do you have any questions? 
No questions for me. Thank you. Art, do you have any questions? No, thank you. Okay. I don't have any questions either. So thank you very much. Thank you. And Adam, she'll be coming back shortly. Okay, I'm here. I did not receive any letters in favor or opposing that application. So that hearing's closed. <clears throat> um, the next item on the agenda is Melvin Hill and Amiz Dijani. Hope I pronounced that correctly. 1020 Old Post Road in Fairfield for property located at 1020 Old Post Road in Fairfield for A, New Wood Gate, B, New World and Worm Fence, and Privet Hedge. Uh, hi, that's me, Lamise. Can you guys hear me okay? Okay. Yes. Great. And yes, you pronounced my name perfectly. Um, so, hi, I'm Lamise. My husband is Melvin, and we are the current owners of 1020. Old Post Road, um, or as many people seem to know it, the Blue House next to the library. Um, some brief background, we started renovating our house back in 2020. And when I first presented to you all, I was pregnant with our first child. Since then, we've made several updates to the main house as well as the garage. And as great as we think the house looks, for some reason, our daughter keeps wanting to run away. So we are proposing some updates that will hopefully beautify our front yard and also contain our child. Specifically, we are wanting to put in a white wood gate at the property entrance um, from Old Post Road, so what is currently just an open space between some hedges. And then we would like to line the inner perimeter of those hedges with a subtle wire fence. Um, specifically, the gate would be a custom-made gate uh, made of wood and painted white with a simple scallop design uh, across the top, roughly four feet by four feet. And for context, the um, hedges are about five feet tall. Um, then the fence would be made of welded wire, um, painted green to try to camouflage it a bit more, about three feet high. Um, something similar to what you see in the picture here. Um, the idea is that it would be as close to the hedge as possible so that as it starts to grow more, it will actually grow into, or the hedge will grow around the gate and it will hardly even be perceptible from the inside of the yard. Um, so this is our current um, plot line and the hedges run along here, along the front, there's a brief break and then they run again back here. So what we are proposing is putting the wire fence uh, lining the interior of those hedges and it will go all the way back until it hits actually an existing wire fence that came with the house. So if you have any questions or feedback, we'd love to hear it. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Darren, do you have any questions? No questions for me, thank you. Thank you. Art, questions? Uh, none, thanks. Okay. And Rosina, questions? No, I noticed the wired fence the other day and it actually blends in. So I have no questions or comments. <laughs> well, that's a temporary one right now, but <laughs> we just put that up to contain children for the Memorial Day parade, but we're hoping for something a bit better than my husband's work. <laughs> okay, and I do not have any questions. Um, I did not receive any letters in favor of this application and I did not receive any letters opposing the application. So the hearing's closed. Thank you. Thank you. And next item on the agenda is Timothy Hind and Carrie Gillespie behind 965 Old Post Road in Fairfield for property located at 965 Old Post Road in Fairfield for A, remove front portico, B, new entry port porch, C, path modifications, and D, porch lights. 
There's someone here to represent the hind hinds. He's muted. Uh, oh, Tim Hind is uh, you're muted. Can you guys hear me? Okay, there you go. Yes, now. Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for uh, allowing me this time. So we have, let me just share my screen. Uh, Okay, can you guys see that? Yes. Okay. Uh, so Margaret Browning is our agent that we contracted to propose this application. Unfortunately, Margaret had some uh, personal issues, uh, so she wasn't able to make the meeting. So bear with me as I muddle through this process. Um, the application is to remove the small porch that you can see there, uh, put in uh, a new porch, which I'll show you the jewelry next. Uh, widen the existing bluestone path, keeping the material the same, uh, and then adding two porch lights. Right now, I believe there's two porch lights under the existing portico, and we want to add one, uh, so it'd be a total of three uh, for the entire proposed new um, porch. So let me see. We have some drawings here. Let me go here. Okay, so what you're looking at here is just uh, a front and side elevation. Uh, if you guys can, can everyone see what you're my drawing. Yep. Okay, uh, so what you see there is the existing portico, which is kind of this initial thing around the door and we'd like to kind of take it out and then put a whole new porch with 4 wooden columns. Uh, I have all the specifications uh, that everything will be wood. Um, there'll be some stone on the bottom that will match the existing stone that is around the base of the house. Um, I can give you another shot at the drawing. Let's see here. This might be. Okay, so this is just the existing front elevation versus the previous drawing was the, the modification. Um. That is it. So those are the four items, just the removal of the front portico, uh, adding a new entry porch, which is seen in these drawings. This drawing here. And uh, adding one additional light and then widening the bluestone path. Okay. Uh, let's say, do you have any questions? You ask me. Is that Darren or me? Yes. Or Alyssa. I'm so, I'm sorry. I probably said Alyssa. She's not even here. Uh, Darren, questions. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm having one of those days too, Adam. Um, no questions for me. Thank you. <laughs> it's a smoke. I blame it on the smoke <laughs> from the from the wildfires. No questions. Okay. Art, you? Uh, nothing, Adam. Thanks, Art. And Rosina, questions? One question is how wide is the bluestone path going to be uh, modified to? Question. So it's going to match. Um, so the existing entryway, I want to say the bluestone path right now is approximately two feet. I would say it's probably going to be, don't quote me because I don't have the exact dimensions in front of me probably closer to three feet wide. I guess it's going to match the uh, portico entrance. Um, so that's similar in size between those two columns. It'll kind of, okay. it'll kind of match equally equi distant between those two columns. 
those two center columns. Okay, thank you. No other questions. Okay, um, I do not have any questions. Um, I did not receive any letters in favor of the application. I did not receive any letters opposing the application. So uh, the hearing is closed. Thank you. Thank you all. All right, we'll go right into the consideration of the uh, items, starting with um, Tara Henry Backey, 388 Old Post Road in Fairfield for property located at 388 Old Post Road in Fairfield, 2A, remove existing chain link fence. Can we get a motion? I'll make a motion to approve I'll make the motion. I'll second. <laughs> Darren, Darren makes a motion to, what's your motion? Uh, to approve as submitted. Okay. Rosina, you second? Yes. Uh, question, uh, discussion? No discussion, then we'll take a vote. All in favor? All opposed, none opposed, no abstentions, passes. Motion passes. Uh, next item on the agenda, Robert and Carrie Manning, 1130 Old Academy Road, Fairfield, for property located at 1130 Old Academy Road in Fairfield, 2A, relocate basketball hoop, the path lights and driveway, courtyard and side door path, and C, path lights and pool area. Adam, uh, Art moves to approve A, B, and C as presented. Thank you. Second. Second for discussion. Okay, Darren seconds. Discussion? My only concern is the location of the hoop, but sure how I feel there right straight down the driveway versus in the opposite direction. So I feel like the existing hoop was probably visible, more visible than this one. Yeah, I agree, Adam. You know, it's there. I'm not sure how much we can hiding that. Right. Well, and she and it I is being. Hear. I said I think I think it's an improvement from the existing basketball hoop location, which is more in the center of that area. I agree with, I was going to say, I agree with that. It's better than it was. Yeah. Anyone else? Okay, are we ready to vote? All in favor of the uh, motion to approve as presented. All opposed, unopposed, no abstentions, motion passes unanimously. And uh, Rosina, would you do the honors for 780 Harbor Road, please? Yep. Um, Jonathan and Danielle Siegel, 780 Harbor Road, Southport, Connecticut, for a property located at 780 Harbor Road. Item A, driveway modifications. Is there a motion? Motion to approve those item that item as presented. I'll second. Okay. Thank you. Is there any discussion? Hearing no, let's vote. Everyone in favor. Um, whoever's in favor. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> has voted in favor, so there's no opposition, um, and we move on to the next one. Thank you, Rosina. Uh, next item is Melvin Hill and Louise Dejani, 1020 Old Post Road in Fairfield for property located at 1020 Old Post Road in Fairfield for a new wood gate and B, new welded wire fence and privet edge. Do we have a motion? I'll, I'll make the motion to approve A and B as presented. I'll second. Rosina makes a motion and Darren seconds. Discussion? 
Their pain, my children keep trying to get out too. <laughs> yeah. Good solution. Sometimes I'm tempted to let them, <laughs> depending on how bad day I'm having. Uh, all right, then let's take a vote. All in favor? All opposed? None opposed? No abstentions? The motion passes unanimously. And final item on the agenda is Timothy Hine and Carrie Gillespie Hine, uh, 965 Old Post Road in Fairfield, property located at 965 Old Post Road in Fairfield, 4A, removed from Portico, B, new entry porch, C, path modifications, and D, porch lights. Can I have a motion? Please? Adam, um, I, I'll move to approve A, B, C, and D as presented. I'll second. Okay. Zena seconds and discussion. My only thing is the um the stone first step. They're going. I, it looked like there were two wood steps, and now they're going to one stone step. It just it probably will look fine. It's just um, I don't know how visible the foundation is. That's around the house, which I think was why they're going to the blue stone step or the stone step. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it'll look nice. Um, I'm not sure if it, you're right. I'm not sure if it's going to really, um, you'll get that relationship between the foundation and that step, but what, that's, I don't know if that's it's anything very yeah. important. That was the it's only. It's a good point. I, I, I don't think it's inappropriate though. Anyone else? Okay, then um, let's vote on it. Um, all in favor? All opposed? Abstentions, no abstentions. Motion passes unanimous, unanimously. Okay, moving on. To approving the minutes. Um, I think we have enough people to approve the minutes. Yep. Can I get a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as submitted. Second. Thank you. Second. All second. Rosina seconds. All in favor? All opposed? Extensions. Motion passes unanimously. And uh, to our Chairman's report repairs. We have 488 Pequot Avenue repair, replace existing fence in kind. 137 Rose Hill, replace damaged shutters in kind. 111 Old Post Road, replace driveway in kind. And 271 Old Post Road, repair existing fence in kind. I have no new violations. Um, we, should, we should be receiving some applications to address existing existing uh, violations uh, for the next meeting. Um, old business, a handbook, we've started the process for um, to get a grant for the handbook. Um, so it's in the town's hand right now, and they, I did speak with uh, that lady, I forget her name. Um, Terry Brown. Regarding the, Terry Brown, thank you. Um, so she, we just fill, filled out that that one part that was missing on how, you know, how it affects the town or whatever. So I think we're just, just waiting. We're just waiting for the town now. Um, but I can't imagine it's going to be a problem. I think it should be fine. Um, so hopefully we can make some progress on that in the near future. And um, I have no new business. Is anyone else? Let's bring me up. And that's it. That's all I have. Can I get a motion to adjourn? I'll make the motion. Second. Rosina makes a motion to adjourn. Then seconds, all in favor? Great. Motion passed unanimously. We are adjourned. <laughs>